Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can create a list view inside column. So, here is the example. And you will see I create a column here. And inside this column, I create this image view. Give some space. And after that, I create this list view. And here, if you see this tab bar, this is also created inside a list view. So, now let's move to the code and I will show you how you can create a list view in the column. So, if you see this code, Here is the body tag and inside this body tag I create a column and here is the tag of children and you will see I have container and inside this container I write the code for this image. Okay, so just ignore this code for this image. And this code ends here. Okay. Okay, so this whole code is for this image and you have to ignore this code. And after that, I use this spacer class which is used to give this space. And I want to create this uh, frame list view at the bottom of the screen. That's why I use spacer class here. And after that, you will see I create this size box and gives this height. Basically, this size box is used to create this type of if else condition. And you will see if I click on this this frame list view will show and if I uh, click on this icon you will see this filters list view is shown so basically I create a column and inside this column I create this picture view and after that I create this and inside this size box I make condition so if user click on this frames the frame list view is showing okay and if user click on this filters then filter list view is shown so you will see i create a column and inside this column i create this list view and after that i will also create this list view and if I show the code for this list view, you will see I also create a size box and inside this size box, basically this size box is used whenever you create a list view inside the column. Okay, so you have two options. You can use the size box and also you can use an expanded class. Okay, so inside this size box i create this container and give the color black and then i create a list view and inside this list view i create these six icons and pass into the function tabs implement so you can create a list view by using this code inside the column and you will see here if you want to copy this code you can create a size box class and inside this you if you want to make some if else condition you have to copy this code and if you don't want to create this type of if else condition then you simply call this function 
copy this function and paste here okay and i write the code for the list view inside this frame on image and i will show you the code and if you want to make this function then you have to make the function and if you want to write the code for list view here you can also write the code okay so on this frame on image function you will see here is the function frame on image and i simply create a list view okay and whenever you have to create a list view inside column you have to use this size box class to fix the height okay uh, so here i use this list view dot builder and pass the array i create this frame array and inside this frame array i store some images okay and these images are coming from the asset folder so inside this array frame i store some images and here you will see i pass the index so for the very first time the index is zero so first image is showing and also you can see i pass the frame to this apply frame function so if you want to show this image you can simply show the image by using as image assets and you will pass the first index okay so you can write the code here but for the designing purpose i create an other separate function and make some design okay so you will see i pass this image to the apply frame and if you open this function you will see i perform on click work and i make some decoration to the image so you will see i pass two images and if you see this we have two images the first on the background and the second this white container is an image so i decorate the container according to my requirements you don't need to use this code but if you want to perform on click function then you have to use this code and write the code for the on click method and decorate your container according to your requirement so here is the code for list inside the column and i hope this code will help you see you soon allah hafiz